Hey, it's Robin Nolan, and I've got a cool little arpeggio exercise for you today, which will help give you real confidence in your gypsy jazz solos. Now, the number one thing you have to do, right, when you're practicing soloing to get good at soloing is practice over tunes, okay? So make sure all the things that you use to solo, like licks, arpeggios, scales, ear training, that all this stuff applies to actual music. And that's how I teach. I always apply things to tunes, to music, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna apply this arpeggio exercise to the tune Minor Swing, right? Which is the big gypsy jazz tune that we all love to play. Now, the first thing you have to do is understand the chords to the tune you're gonna practice over. So what are the chords to Minor Swing? We've got three chords, basically, okay? We've got A minor, We've got D minor and we've got E7, right? So we want to be able to solo over those chords in the progression. So then what is the arpeggio from those chords? And I'm talking about the real basic arpeggio, no added sevenths, ninths, sixths, just the one, three, five, one, three, five, right? So the basic A minor arpeggio is, right, doesn't get any simpler than that. And I want to show you how you can create real powerful and beautiful solo lines by just using the notes in the arpeggio, okay? Because we, we us humans, like to complicate things and kind of analyze and put things in different contexts, label. But in this lesson, at least, I just want to show you how you can rely on the basics to create real beautiful solos. So A minor. D minor, right? E7, we're just going to use the E major arpeggio. A minor. D minor. E. A minor. So that's the first step you've got to do if you're going to improvise or practice improvising like this is locate the basic arpeggios for the chords in the tune, which is minor swing. Now, the little exercise or the pattern you're going to learn in this one is pretty cool and it's kind of got a classical vibe to it and it sounds like this. So for the A minor, we pick a note in the arpeggio, let's pick the root, then it's going to sound like this. So. so that's the first thing to practice, right? And this is descending, and we also have the same pattern, ascending. Okay, coming down. Going up. And basically, you can pick any note in the arpeggio, any of those three notes of A, C, and E, and then start this pattern. So you might pick, you know, let's say we pick the C, so you go. Okay, so you pick the A. Right, so you pick the E. So it gives little different flavors and versions of the arpeggio in that pattern. So the first thing to do is just practice it basic, okay? So go like this. Now we have to move to D minor. We're going to keep our hand in the same position and we're just going to go. Right, it's just using the, the D minor chord there. And we can even just use the C as well when we're in the D minor so we don't have to kind of move our hand. We can go for D minor. Okay, so as simple as that. When we get to E7 in minor swing, we can go. Right? And just remember that you can start any of these any of these patterns from any note in the arpeggio. So if you're on D minor, you could start on the F. Right? And that's why it's good to know your arpeggio all the way across the strings, okay? Then you've got the choice. So uh, I'm not going to get to too much detail in this video, but I'm just going to give you the concept of how this can give you real confidence in your soloing. Now, once you've kind of 
got a little bit kind of familiar with them. you're soon going to start to get into into the real good notes of each chord then you're going to put it to music and i've got the minor swing chord changes here now a bit of news in the nolan camp we've just announced the gypsy jazz breakthrough retreat which is happening in los angeles the 18th to 22nd of april uh, it's going to be a wonderful event and when i teach soloing at retreats which we do all around the world one of the ways we do is scales and arpeggios, and this is the kind of exercise that I will teach in the retreat. And then also, like I said in the beginning of the video, we will apply it to music. So in the retreat, for example, in LA, we get a whole set of music together, 10 to 12 tunes, and we rehearse these tunes with all the aspects, the rhythm, the soloing, the arrangements, all the things that make these tunes sound cool in the retreat. And then we're even doing a gig. Uh, on the last day of the retreat in LA, we'll do a gig with John Jorgensen, who's actually the guest instructor. Um, and it's going to be a wonderful event. So if it's something that might interest you, go to gypsyjazzworldpassport.com and all the info is there. There's probably a link just near this video. Okay, so this is the kind of teaching that happens in the retreats when we're talking about soloing uh, because we're uh, applying it to tune. So now let's put the, I've got a backing track of minor swing here. And I'm going to put this idea to music. Here we go. One, two, three. A minor. D minor. E7. A minor. D minor. A minor. Okay. I'm just playing it really straight at the moment just to get your fingers used to the positions let's go up see how the chords obviously the notes work over the chord changes because they're the, the notes in the arpeggio so the next step once you got comfortable right with the basic arpeggio then this pattern ba -do -de -do, and then going down da -do, um, is to then put it to music and then after you've done it straight like I played it there just going is to then improvise with it so be playful with the idea and see how you go doing that. Now, one bit of advice I give my students is to play a phrase, then take a break, then play a phrase, then take a breath, okay? And this kind of breaks up the monotony of your solo, and it kind of makes, it forces you to be a little bit more creative with your timing and how the notes will sound. So I'll give you an example of that. I'll play over minor swing chord changes, and I'll play a little phrase from the exercise, take a break, I mean, a break, a couple of seconds, then do another one, okay? And then it starts to become interesting. So it's a way you can practice, okay? Here we go, minor swing. Okay. Break. E7. Break. I'm also swinging the notes now. A little break. E7. Okay, so I'm really feeling comfortable. Leaving a gap. Okay, just feeling comfortable. Swinging the notes. And you can see how it starts to become really interesting and you can start to be playful and in a jazz way, make a really beautiful, powerful solo. So that's the message in this video. 
um, as, as, as much as us humans love complicating things and uh, getting fancy, I think it's worth reminding ourselves that we can build beautiful, melodic, powerful solos from just the notes in the basic arpeggio of the tune you're working on. So this was an example over minor swing, and I think that will help you. So just practice the exercise over whatever song you're working on, and perhaps it's minor swing, and hopefully that will keep you inspired. Um, that's it. If you'd like to join us in Los Angeles, then it's happening April 18 to 22. Go to the website, gypsyjazzworldpassport.com, and all the info is there. Remember, it's four days and four nights, Gypsy Jazz Heaven on Earth with me, John Jorgensen, and a bunch of like-minded players who want to have fun, and we'll finish off with the gig. Okay, um, that's it for this week. Stay inspired. Lots of love. See you soon.